Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Monotrak and we are playing Imperator Rome, the pre-release version, as Teutonia, the tribe of Teutonia, has finally managed to find a home down here in Darkia. We have the capital that I wanted here with the gemstones and the farmland. Really happy that we got this now um, all the way from the frozen north up here. Um, these guys are all fighting each other over... Something, I guess, table scraps, I'm not sure. <laughs> These aren't great areas. I mean, you have a bunch of amber, which is pretty rich, right? So that's definitely a, a nice thing. Gives you gives you a chunk of tax, and uh, each surplus gives you tax, and drew the popularity gain, all that. Yeah, that is, that is super nice, but uh, compared to the gemstones, no, just no, no. We don't, we don't need it. We got, we got our own good stuff here, and we also have all the armor which I uh, all the iron which will allow us to go for uh, some heavy heavy infantry kind of feel like I should start building some of that um, just to make sure that we are able to protect ourselves a little bit and uh, I think I'm gonna do that now uh, so they're gonna be pretty expensive to maintain Hmm. These guys are much cheaper to maintain. I don't know. We're paying a lot more upkeep since we're a horde. So we'll see how things progress, I guess. Well, I'm just gonna buy those champions. They should be enough to just supplement our tribal armies over here. So Gitia, for some reason, has nothing better to do than to attack these dudes instead of us. That's fine. Sure. Um, rebellion will break out in 32 months. We have a bit of a problem there. Because uh, we have these guys as a subject. I mean, I could just release them, I guess. <laughs> I could just tell them to go away. Uh, I don't have the points to go for, uh, for an opinion, uh, for an opinion boost. So that's not a thing, but yeah, we'll see how things progress. Um, would really like to get out of this war. Still determined to do the thing though, so... Meh. We'll be alright. Oh yeah, sure. No. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Let's fight. Let's dance. And I want this to be commanded by our ruler that is gonna be helpful yeah, it didn't quite go as you planned it did it think not <laughs> oh I gotta think twice about this well, well we'll let them we'll let them move in there I want to win battles so that we can get the superiority war goal ticking and then I might even be able to squeeze some money out of this. Okay, come on, guys. Yeah, wham. That happened. Awesome. These guys can stop with the force march now. I'm liking that quite a bit. Oh yeah, wait, wait a second. How many do we need to win? We have won seven. We need to go up to ten. So a couple more of these battles and we'll be fine. 27 months um, until we get a rebellion from our disloyal subject. I wonder if I should go for the improved opinion. <laughs> oh, Overlord, plus 50, recently declared war. 37.5% of the population from a foreign culture group living in disloyal provinces or subjects. We have loyal provinces, so this is a loyal province, this is a loyal province. It's not a problem right now, like changes to nothing. It's just a problem that these guys are disloyal. It, I think it might be worth it actually to go for the opinion improvement to maybe counteract this. I would rather like to avoid a rebellion if we can keep these guys um, paying tribute to us I have no problem with that that would actually be kind of fun 
Uh, let me just check what a tributary does. Um, I protect them and they're limited in their diplomacy. So yeah, that's fine. Invention, uh, commerce, income, improve opinion maximum. We could just go diplomatic reputation. That might help a bit. Fabricate claim cost. I think we'll take that. We probably want to like keep pushing our capital province of which we just have one city currently. Um, we probably want to control all of this um, in the long in the long run, just to get that done. Are there still uh, people that we can that we can convert? Then we should actually do that. Um, convert, yeah, the tribesmen can be converted. Let's do that over here. Bring down the unrest. We probably have a little bit of war exhaustion. Yeah, a, a tad, a tad. It's not horrible. Warrior's Honor. So, Marcolus. Bellhold, hardened soldiers under Tancrant Marcolus have performed mighty acts of valor. He wants to. He wants permission to institute a particular form of service reward. Sure. Yeah. No, that's that's fine. I mean, there's there's nothing I can do about it. Let these guys be inspired. It's okay. He is likely the next tribal chief in any case. So we'll. Be okay. Where's Gitia? Come on. Move your butts over here. Let's just fight it out. Let's duke it out. There's no if I could, if I could make friends with these guys. Um I don't want to spend any money, but I wouldn't even mind enslaving these guys by just uh, like going for a bit of war. That could be fun. That might be worth it to, to try and push these guys to become our friends. Come on, give yourself a push. Give me military access. They still don't like me. Oh, there's, there's Gitia coming up. All right. We'll just stay with the shock tactic here. Although, yeah, it actually doesn't give us any bonuses. Maybe we'll go skirmishing instead. Bottleneck also looks nice. Yeah, let's do bottleneck. We'll see who wins this. Okay, well try to kick him over here. We have military access here now, which is quite nice, actually. Um, move on up. It's another battle that we've won. This has a lot of supply limit. 23. Um, okay, so this guy needs another bribe, I guess. Can also hold another triumph. Gains more loyalty. What about the other guy? Can't afford the triumph here, but we should certainly do that whenever we can and they win something. Just praise him to the sky. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Praise be. Cancel improve opinion. I don't think it's going to be enough. <laughs> and it's probably not going to be... It's going to probably be too little too late. <laughs> okay, this is... It's not going to end well for them. I'm going to wait until they're locked in. I'm going to send everyone in there. A feud. Two of our tribesmen have come forward to ask for help settling ownership of a gold necklace they found. Aidgust Makolos believes it belongs to him as he was the one to find it, whereas Melrent Makolos says it belongs to him as it was discovered on his land. So we could give it to one. 
We'll give it to the other. Could go belongs to Teutonia. We could just go and say it belongs to the gods. I'll take the religious power, for sure. And then I think what we're gonna do is recently held a triumph. Okay, so can't do more. Nice. We're getting to the point where we get it where we get the ticking war score. If only I could avoid the war with my subject over here. That would then be perfect. Yeah, we just need to win one or two more battles, depending if it needs to be above 10 or exactly 10. Oh, hell no! Where did, you, where did you come from? Shit! God damn it! Where did they come from? Just out of nothingness? Okay. Because these guys need maybe one or two units more. I'm gonna run into some problems here with the upkeep. And my idea was that uh, this guy will eventually take over and then his two heavies will become... Like these aren't retinue, these are actually normal troops, they're just loyal to him. We, we got them and we're already paying the upkeep, so... anything we can do with him we need to probably bribe him uh, damn it I don't want to I don't want to push his corruption his corruption is already decently high it's gonna make it very difficult to get anything done with him in the long run I wish uh, my character the leader character would just die that would make things a lot easier for me <laughs> yeah I know that is an evil thought This one lost battle actually cost us the ticking war score. <sighs> yeah, I mean, they're getting to the point where we might be able to get a march through. We're guaranteed by Gitia as well, then defensively with uh, all our neighbors, so... It might be better to spend our oratory power on something else. Already spent it to improve these guys' opinion, and that hasn't really gotten us very far. I mean, I have no doubt that we're going to be able to um, keep these guys down. I hope. I think we might even be able to take some slaves if we fight them. That won't be too bad. On the other hand, I really would like to get into Gitia and maybe maybe get something out of them. Like we need something to do for our tribes people. Is the thing. You know? Uh, we have some attrition. And we're paying for these guys here directly. Oh yeah, that's another invention. Uh, I mean, let's go improve opinion maximum. Why not? We're currently doing that, so that's no harm done. Try to push this through. Um, I could go improve opinion, but it, it looks like I actually have to just bribe this guy. <sighs> he does have inflammation. How's his health? He's 60 years old already, but he has 100% health. Yeah, we gotta bribe him. Uh, that's it sucks, but there's no other way around this. Okay, there are more Gitians now. This is happening. They're coming in. This should give us the ticking war score that we want. Can we hold another triumph? Less than 720 days since the last victory. We can hold a triumph for this guy. So, yeah, sure. Let's make these guys as happy as possible. Okay. Did he, did he get a victory now? 
recently had a triumph. Can't hold another one until 69. So I guess we can hold one every year. <laughs> so Apulia has a war of independence against us. Um, yeah, about that. Let's march these guys over. Let's get it done. The rights of Sadava. Some of the youth in the city of Sadava, poor descendants, our capital, has started partaking in old fertility rites to the chagrin of some of our seers and elders. Markham and Segamandrus has demanded that we put an end to this and make sure the youth start respecting the wishes of the elders once more. The rites certainly seem effective though, and the youth seems happier than they used to be. Just random religious power? This guy's already very unhappy with me, to be to be quite honest. I kind of would like to get a, an additional stability, but having that local population growth in our capital is actually quite nice. Mm. Also less unrest. Oh yeah, religious power is good. We'll, we'll take the religious power for now. Um, let me see if I maybe can do something with that, with that power. Yeah. I'm gonna just convert as many people as possible with this. Get a unified country. Okay, Kick these guys' butt, which is great. You can go home again. Oh, that's... So that's not entirely helpful. We can't siege this down. I don't think they have a level 2 fort. No, they just have a level 1. These guys now, uh, what? No one has won enough battles, need over 10 war score. So we actually need the 11. We need to have one more battle with Skitia. Maybe I'll just wanting to pay us some money. I have quite a bit of it. I'm fine with this. Where are they going? They're already set to... Can't we catch them? No. Guess we can try to catch them now. Yeah, we can. Nice. So remember, we have three slaves in here. Could send these guys back home. To like get a little bit more in terms of troops. Yeah, we'll kick these guys down. Could hold games. We're not very popular at this point. How's he? Uh, how's his health? 100% still. Yeah, we'll spend those 16 bucks. Let's get some popularity here. Uh, we're starving pops and Ampelum. Yeah, because this thing is actually keeping them keeping them down. These guys lost their high quality troops though. And that's bad times for them. I'm gonna go reorganization over here. Soon the city is gonna pop. Which is gonna be quite helpful. So turn that off. I mean, we could siege this thing back. I don't know. There's not really much point to it. Yeah, this thing will fall very soon. Just don't want them to, to attack my guys. Okay, took this thing. Oh, 
So let's see if we can't win this. Come on. Oh, Gitia is actually sieging down our, our capital now. That's not good. All right, then I guess we're gonna send the, the big clan retinue to hit these guys up. And we'll send our dudes over here. I think they might be quite enough now to siege things. They only have a couple of provinces, so this should be okay. I don't want to take more land. The, the loyalty of this thing is still kind of trending downward. Okay, yeah, we won this battle. What I really want is for this to... Uh... Okay, we're winning that one as well. Now we get the ticking war score here, I think. Yes, awesome. So that should allow us to squeeze Gitia for some money, I hope. And we have a scandal on our coat. Uh, ordinarily, we would simply ignore such petty squabbles on this occasion. The esteemed Baldric Marcolos was found in flagrante delicto with his lover, Framhild. Okay. Framhild over here, what do we do? He's the arbitrator. <laughs> Sorry. He's part of the Marcolos family. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna kick him out. I mean, it's a bit weird that we have to deal with the. Uh, yeah, we'll just so we we'll just give him his thing back then. This is fine. <laughs> yeah, uh, we have a lot of war exhaustion at this point. I would I would really like to not have this. Uh, this place has been looted. Yeah, that's the main problem. Come on, give me a slave pop here, please. Nope, not gonna happen. All right then. I mean, these guys are 96% uh, done for. So this is our tribal chief leading the siege. Might be able to get some money out of their capital. No, that's their capital actually. Maybe he siphoned that up already. That's fine. We have a little bit of oratory power now that we can use. That's what was basically done. Gitia is still interested in fighting on, I guess. Um, oh, look at that. They, they're really willing to um, fork over quite a bit of money. I'll take it. I'll take it. And what I'm going to do with it is... We're going to need quite a few marketplaces here. Um, not only will that increase our tax and commerce income, but it's also going to boost the local civilization level, which is something that we very much want. And then I think I might also chuck in like another granary here. Every month 0.43 is gained, currently at 79%. Converting five pops here. I don't think we really need to convert that many people on this. So, so Mox and Dakian to his, yeah. There's some Dakians in here still. So maybe that's not the worst policy. I'm kind of thinking we might actually switch to a different um, civilization thingy. We have unhappy tribesmen. Why? Not Germanic culture. Civilization value is tribe minus 40%. So these guys are just mad that we are. Uh, I guess they just. I guess they're just always difficult to keep happy. That's what I'm guessing. <clears throat> so yeah, I definitely want to siege this thing down, just to maybe get something out of it, get some money from the plundering. I can probably brutally plunder this thing. Okay, so our tribal chief has a growing friendship uh, with Eidberg Tankra. Sometimes it can be advantageous to have a friend watch one's back. Member of the Tankri family. She has like no people whatsoever. <sighs> ah, splendid. Whatevs. Our guy, our guy deserves to have some, to have some friends. I don't think his life is too great. He's like a corrupt coward. But he, he did some good for his tribe. 
So, um, yeah. Let's go boost our national commerce income a little bit. The next thing that we want to do is boost our civilization level over here and start promoting people to um, citizens and freemen. So I got a chunk of money. I like that. Not a lot of money from commerce. But a very decent chunk from taxes over here. I mean, we've got gemstones in here, which boosts this by 20%. So going more towards that direction is actually a really good idea. We probably won't have a lot of slave pops in this one, just uh, mining the gemstones. Okay, that boosts this even further. Also boosts the max civilization level a little bit. Okay, once this is done, we'll make peace with these guys. I think we'll take them back as a tributary, because why not? Okay, we have a siege, we gain some popularity. Still no, still no slaves, which, um, yeah, okay then. Uh, these guys over there, I'm gonna sue for peace. You're gonna give me all your money, and you will go back to being my subject. I will probably rise up at some other point in time. Uh, but we can probably do this repeatedly. Just beat them up with our chiefs. Um, get the opportunity to hold some hold some triumphs. Yeah, we can actually hold another triumph here for this guy. We'll do it. Sure. Awesome. I really like the, the way that you have to play these tribes. Where you have to rely a lot more on the personal loyalty of your people. And how you handle them. Compared to when we're playing as Sparta, where we have like a rather efficient state that is organized and uh, where it isn't as much um, a single person that makes things happen or not happen. Whereas here, if we piss off one of these two, they, uh, we can um, potentially destroy our whole state by doing that. Right. Um, yeah, we we wanna we wanna go convert people, or convert tribesmen over here. I guess we also wanna convert the slaves. So now we're gonna assimilate people. Citizens are all converted. Freemen. There's still freemen that need to be converted here. And then slaves. I'm not sure if we really need to convert the slaves, but I kind of feel like um, we might want to make them into citizens at some point, I guess. Okay, so that's the second marketplace. I think we could actually squeeze in one more. We've got a chunk of money out of this. And having more civilization level in here is actually a really good idea. <laughs> yeah, that's the next rebellion. It's already programmed. And contrary to when you're playing other people, you actually want almost constant war so you can keep your tribe chiefs busy. Untiring devotion. Okay, again, another stability. Awesome. Awesome. That is totally awesome. Very good. Mm. I mean, once we got everyone... Once we've got everyone unified here, which we could also do with just an edict. Oh yeah, look at that, it's still going down. Why? I guess it might, might, might be to do with the war exhaustion, which yeah, that generates quite a bit of national unrest. Kind of do want to unlock these though. So it'll just, it'll take down naturally. So, I don't think it's that much of a problem. I think we can counteract the reasons why we're losing why we're losing things here. Okay, so we're resettling more people into the capital, making sure that the weight of this province is actually not that important. It's just ticking down in a very minor fashion. It's not horrible. 
still think that we're in a really good uh, and strong position now. We've got money and we've got good income. Uh, more importantly, we're going to have better income once the marketplace is built. Uh, once we can assemble a couple of uh, slaves. These guys are probably planning our demise. No? Yeah, these guys are planning my demise. <laughs> it's a good way of finding out who is going to attack you eventually. These guys are friends with Tyrus over here. They are non-factor. And Reticensia, which is... That's fine, actually. We can... We can deal with these guys. They have 18 regiments. They're not a very big tribe. These guys have 18 regiments. We have... What do we have? 21, 23? That's okay. We have a very good province. Ram Lake Malactus. He's the elder and the rival of the clan chief of the Tankry clan. Okay. That is good. That is good. Okay, another marketplace. We've, we've boosted the tax income by another sizable chunk. Um, yeah. 1.38. Well, that definitely means that I could afford more of these heavy infantry cohorts. Um, could also consider doing more development. In some of the other places. Like, we don't have... We don't have, um, fortifications. Yeah, we could definitely use a fortress maybe here in Cyrodelva to protect us a little bit better. Might not be the worst idea in life, actually. We're gonna pay for this, but it's also gonna be more difficult for other people to conquer us. I'll do it. I'll do it. It's gonna save me. It's gonna save me some headache um, in the long run if we are protected in this area, especially because there we always have to expect um, barbarians coming out of this too. Barbarian strength has actually gone up um, because the level of civilization around this thing is, is super low. Like us plundering this area really didn't help. And look at that. That is what the barbarians did to this country. Like their civilization is basically gone. Um, but yeah, for now, I guess I have to end it here. We'll continue our quest for Teutonian glory in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you join me next time. Bye bye.